All right, guys, uh, for our boy Alexander here, it's his big day coming up. Big day. You know what day that is, Alex? It's my birthday. <sighs> Pretty close. Several months off. But it <laughs> is going to be your day hearing the Paranoid album all the way through from Black Sabbath for the first time. I'm so excited. I'm giddy like a schoolgirl. Dude, you're going to, I think it's going to be one of your favorite hard rock records ever. Probably like top three, top five of the 70s, just around also that crazy. era. Also crazy that I haven't heard it. You have. So he's showing it to me on Patreon this month. It's actually already dropped. It's on there now. If you want to see my full reaction to the full Black Sabbath Paranoid album, go on there. We're going to drop another album throughout the month, plus a bunch of singles. All that for less than a cup of coffee. Link in description. See you there. Back to the video. Hey guys, hope you're having a great day as well as a great life. As well as a great life, uh, I feel like I'm dressed a little bit like a pirate. It's okay though, we're not going to mention it in the comments aggressively and make Alex feel bad about it. Ooh, I don't think that'd be possible. I feel like you'd probably feel good about it. That's it's true. Good, it's a good thing, man. It's a good thing. I don't know if it's a good thing. I don't know if pirates are considered good. I mean, in the modern context. Somali pirates? Ooh. Yeah, I don't Got think... me. You... It, dude, there, there's like a tally thing of like Alex burning Andy. With it wasn't like, really a burn, one, but logical. Phrase. Yeah, logical destruction. Inconsistencies, yeah. Yeah, it's like tally for Alex on that one. The Moody Blues. It's been a minute, dude. I'm freaking excited. I'm freaking I'm excited. Too. I'm too. I don't think we should have much preamble. Just really excited to hit some more Moody Blues. Uh, if you do hear, there's like air shows going on near us. So if you happen to hear loud planes, there's not much we can do about it, but we'll try to mentally will them away from this place. Yeah, it's just part of the atmosphere of the song. That's all it is. It's true. Let's do it. That back is so cool. Why do we never get an answer when we're knocking at the door? With a thousand million questions oh about hate. We stop and look around us There is nothing that we need In a world of persecution That is burning in its greed
you say it when you do those things to me It's more the way you really mean it when you tell me what will be Very conflicted. Okay. For one, I don't know if I like that at all, really. Okay. I like I, going, not at all. That's wrong. That's it, incorrect. Like the middle section, like it going down and then coming back. The problem was I loved the beginning section a lot, yeah. and I guess it's the ending section too. Yeah. That whole middle section, all those starts and like false endings. By the time they did like yeah. the fifth false ending, I was like, I just it, you lost me. Like the song took me on a ride, mm -hmm. and they're asking me to like. Put, like put my belief in what they're doing to some yeah, extent yeah and by the time i've gotten tricked four or five times by these false endings that don't really mean anything it's like not they weren't really leading to anything it was just yeah. the next little section of that middle part i was like you no longer have my belief in you mm. i was like you kind of lost my trust like i don't want to be betrayed again <laughs> got, a little, got, a little, got a little personal yeah I, it feels so aggressive when i say it like that but it's, it just i was like oh i'm not gonna listen yeah. to this again. like the beginning so cool though i love that the drumming is freaking phenomenal i love mm. the lyrics i the love what the guitar is doing yeah stuff. yeah it's just great that's fair i i enjoyed it i i will say like by the by the last one i was cool by the second i, I think it was weird like the second to last one i, I got that feeling but yeah. then the last one like, i felt like it was the actual last one i could tell by the way they fucking stroked like the string i was, I was like okay that's it and then, yeah and then i was good but I could definitely see that, especially like when it ends like into silence, where it's not like it truly leads back into the the main section. Yeah, it it's just like, was it felt too like disjointed. Completely different. I could see that. I enjoyed it. But I could. I could one hundred percent. I see enjoyed that. the backbeat a lot. It actually makes me sad because like the and because uh, I'll just probably turn the song off after the that first section mm. if I listen to it again because I really do like the beginning and there was very little I didn't love. I kind of would have wanted the acoustic to be separated a little bit from the hi hat. Because there's they're both kind of taking up the same sonic space and doing the same rhythm that I kind of wanted it in stereo instead of kind of being more on top of each other. I think the the hi hat was like a little to the left, but I would have liked a little more space. I see. But that I was see. it. It was other than that, I thought it was dope. Interesting. Do you think it should have been more like an interlude kind of thing? What like, the like, middle section? Like uh, no 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 like uh, the first like almost like like uh, an uh, just like a straight like separate track like for the beginning maybe. Like uh, where it's two separate tracks, and then and then like it starts on that like frail acoustic thing as the second song on the record. Cause it's the first song on the record. Yeah. So like interlude into that acoustic section, and then sure like keep that uh, like when it comes back, keep that in the second part. It just felt like they were just doing it to do it. Like, oh, what would be cool after this giant bombastic thing is to go into a weird acousticy thing, mm -hmm. and it it just felt so disjointed. That it didn't feel like something like, I think of like, a, a, a what's that one Beatles song? Happiness is a Warm Gun. Where there's mm. like three or four different songs in that one song. Or Band yeah. on the Run, where it's like three songs all put together. But each one of those feels like... That's Wings, but you know, go ahead. Uh, yeah, it's fair, it's fair. <laughs> uh, where they all feel like the sections make cohesive sense. They definitely do flow really nicely there. And the problem was this middle section didn't even flow internally with itself. 
Like, mm. even if I was just listening to the middle section, as many stops was like, and, uh, mm. and, uh, and it goes back into it. It was just mm. too many. I was like, I need more flow than that. I definitely think it's not necessarily an acquired taste, but just like a taste to Could have. be an acquired taste. Because I liked it, but I could, again, a million percent see how yeah. you might not like it as much. It's fair. Dang. I do want to check the lyrics of just that first verse, like when it was in that jangly stuff, because it seemed really freaking cool. Why do we never get an answer when you're knocking or when we're knocking at the door with a thousand million questions about hate and death and war? Because when we stop and look around us, there's nothing that we need in a world of persecution that is burning in its greed. Dang. Whew. And then it says, uh, why do we never get an answer when we're knocking at the door? Because the truth, it's hard to swallow. That's what the war of love is for. Intra fucking sting, dude. I think it's cool. I think the lyrics are cool. I love that beginning yeah. section. That beginning section to me is probably an A. The rest mm. of the stuff not an A. Okay, cool. Let's get let's get this. Let's get the join rating together. Oh my gosh. Um count it off, dude. Three, two, one, C plus. A. I really liked it. I I loved the beginning. I just that middle, actually, it's, it actually makes me sad. I know, I, I know, yeah. I, I love how certain songs like this, like, because, like, a lot of our tastes is super aligned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, super aligned. I love how songs like this really separate our, our palate. Because this is just bit. a taste thing. If I yeah. could get over those disjointed stops, that really was the only thing that attracted from me, because I loved the singing in the yeah. middle section. Yeah, I, I the lines actually cool. liked this. Yeah, I, lo I loved how he said, like, uh, like, like, it's not the way. And then when on the next line, it, and he said, it's more the way. I yeah. That was fucking cool. Yeah, I. I thought all that was dope. I just, uh, man, it's one that makes me sad. It, a little it just bit. hurt your trust, dude. Yeah, I guess so. I guess it, it was like, this, it was like a shaman led you into the woods. Like, no, come, come follow me. And you're like, Ooh, it, it, yeah, sure, dude, it sure, felt sure. like if Gandalf in the Lord of the Ring was like, oh, we'll lead you to this road down this hill. And it's like, this is where, this is where we've got no, to put dude. the one ring. And then they go there and they're like, well, not quite here. It's actually a little farther down the road. And, and he did it every, dude, it's like, oh, okay, and here we turn left. And then, okay, go. Then we're going to turn left. For a day's walk, and then turn left, and then left again. You're like, wait, we're back where we started. We're, we're, we're on the we're on the same path we were. Oh, but it's later on in the year, and well, that's closer to where we need to go. So yeah, that's how I felt, and it was that's just a little so too much. So freaking funny. So well, dope, dude. Let us know where to go next with uh, Moody Blues stuff that maybe stuff that I'll like and I'll also like. I like the last we'll, one we did. See, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah. Well, even was a lot. I think it was Tuesday afternoon. I, I think it was something. I think we, we really liked. That. Yeah, I think it was a great one. Um, yeah, let us know. Hey, we'll yep. see you next video. Peace. See ya. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you want to, if you had a good time watching that video, go on up, vote the video, subscribe if you're not already. Check out some other videos here on YouTube or on the Patreon if you want extra juicy stuff you can't get on YouTube because you're blocking here.